Are there newborn kittens? Hello guys. Oh, there's four of you. Hello. But this is a very, very beautiful park with a nice skyline view of many of the most famous sites here in Kuala Lumpur. Like I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Welcome guys, welcome back to another video here in Kuala Lumpur. Now, today's a bit of a sad day and an exciting day. It's an exciting day because we get to explore, we get to see different things and try new foods and stuff. But the sadness is that today is actually the last day here in Kuala Lumpur, unfortunately. You know, before we actually were gonna book just one week to stay here in Kuala Lumpur, and then we said, you know what, maybe two weeks is better. And I'm so glad we did because two weeks was a good amount of time to see a lot. Definitely could have spent more time here, but two weeks is what it is for now. Definitely going to be back. But today in this video, we're exploring a different area. Right now, we are coming over to the National Art Museum, I believe, or National Art Gallery. And we're gonna check it out. We're gonna see what it's like because I read on Google Views, it's a pretty fascinating place to check out. And uh, I don't often go to museums so often, sometimes in different cities, but today we need this museum because we're a bit tired. We're a bit out of energy from the past week, the past two weeks being here and exploring and everything. So today's kind of be, today's gonna be more of a laid back day, I believe. And we're gonna go into this library here, check that out, then find some food, get something to drink, and also we can escape the heat today as uh, it's a little bit sticky, it's warm, but also, I'll tell you what, it's humid. And uh, it's a little bit of a gloomy day so far in the beginning, but the sky is turning now, the blue sky is coming out soon, so it's only gonna get hotter, like I've said in previous videos. So let's hop into this art gallery here and see what it's all about. What is that? Sleepy grass. Oh my God, you're making it go to sleep. Look at this mama cat right here. Nice colors, just relaxing. And then right over there are their newborn kittens. Hello guys. Oh, there's four of you. Hello. Are you alive? Hello. Yeah, it's going to be right? Hello guys. Yeah, it's going to be Hello. Oh, you guys are cute. You look like you're a couple weeks old. Wow. Okay, there you are. Wow, how cute is that? There's four kittens here just hanging out by the garbage, the entrance to the museum. And they look like they were just born a few weeks ago. Very, very cute. Ah, these little kittens are so cute, but they should be put in a different area because as you can see maybe There's ants all over this wall here, and they're actually crawling on them because as I touch them ants came all over my hand And hopefully they're not biting them. It seems like they're fine because they're not really itchy, but they are pretty cute How they're sleeping together. Look at that guys just came out of the National Art Gallery here and that was actually really cool there was a lot of cool artwork spent maybe uh, 45 minutes in there probably quicker than most people 
because I just don't have the patience sometimes to sit around and read everything. But I try to pick out the things that I really like and I hope you enjoyed some of the, the videos and clips that I put into this video so far over there. There's a lot to see so come here check it out. It's totally free. You do not need to pay anything to enter it. And uh, actually when we were entering there was a sign that said no like photography, no camera and things like that. But security guard didn't seem to mind and people had cameras and they were taking photos with their phone so it's okay and also when you go to enter the way that you enter is that you just have to sign a registration thing which is a QR code you put in your name details where you're from things like that just so they can register how many people are coming in and coming out and there is three floors with different exhibits a lot of history a lot of cultural background of uh, Malaysia and Asia and whole but it's a very very cool place to come AC is on in there so a great way to cool down there's a few foreigners in there and some locals definitely recommend it check it out when you're here in Kuala Lumpur now we got to go find some Malaysian food to put in the stomach here because we are starving and might just faint of uh, hunger so we'll see you guys at the restaurant wherever we go Bye-bye, kitties. Bye-bye. Oh, they gave us some chicken. Bye-bye. Wow, we are baking out here in this park. We just entered the park called uh, Titi Swanga or Titi Swanga. I don't know how you pronounce it, but I did see the sign, so that's the spelling part right here, as you can see. But this is a very, very beautiful park with a nice skyline view of many of the most famous sites here in Kuala Lumpur, like the Petronas Towers, the KL Tower and the world's second highest building so far. And let me tell you, this park here is very, very beautiful. Lots of greenery, lots of different trees. There's a lake, there's uh, like little river systems kind of. On one side it looked like there is a, like a horse track or something. And uh, yeah, it's just very, very beautiful. Like even here, there's like floaties up here. It's just beautiful. So there are maps here that show you all the places that you can see and the different parts of the park to give you uh, an overlay understanding of it. But yeah, as I was saying, it's very nice because there's a lot of nature, like a lot of greenery of the lake here, the water fountains in the background, very, very peaceful. There's like little places that look like, I don't know, maybe they set up some, some market stall or something. Then you have this pathway that you can go down, you can walk, you can run ride bikes so this looks like a place that's very good for exercise and then there is the national uh, art gallery that we went into that's right by here as well there is a restaurant and things like that so many things to do here it's a very very uh, beautiful place in Kuala Lumpur to uh, see some nature if you want that nature feel Exhausted. We just stopped at a little, I don't know, local local convenience store to get some water because it's really hot. And uh, I think the guy maybe overcharged us. I'm not sure. Let me know. Two ringgit for this? I've seen the bigger ones for half of that, so I don't know. Either way, it's okay. I'm sure he can use the money, and now I can quench my thirst because man, I need it. Bad news. Uh, like I said in some of the last videos, you know, during the day I found out that the places are mostly closed unless you go to an area that's really catering to tourists, you know, during the afternoon because of the heat of the day with Ramadan and all that. Well, over here we looked at Google Maps and we saw that some restaurants said that they were open, but then when we showed up they were closed, so it was really hard to find some food. and. Uh, it's almost 3.30 and still haven't eaten today, which is crazy. Actually, I shouldn't say that because this morning we did go to 7-Eleven and we did get a steam bun as like a little breakfast because it's underneath our apartment building and it was very quick as we needed to pick up some necessities from there for our last day. But seeing how I can find a restaurant and we had just left the Titi Swanga, no, no, not Titi Swanga, sorry, Titi Wangs. Uh, 
or there it is, Taman Tasik Titi Wang's, uh, however you pronounce it, I'm sorry guys. Uh, instead, we're just gonna head back to the Airbnb and you know gather up our belongings and rest because we do have a, a flight coming up tomorrow morning, very early actually. We're leaving before sunrise, so gotta get to bed a little bit early. But with that said, I hate to end the video there and not really get any food. But what I did last night is we actually went to the local bazaar market near us and got some food and tried some new things that I haven't had yet. I've had a lot of different food here off camera as well. Uh, nasi kandar, uh, nasi lemak, more of that, and more of just other little snacks here and there. And uh, some things from restaurants, some things from cafes, some things from local markets. In summary, the food here is phenomenal and it's some of the best in the world that I've ever had in my life. And I definitely really love it. Although some of the stuff has so much flavor, so much spices, so much mixing that sometimes it just doesn't settle well in the stomach, like, you know, 12 hours later, but that's okay. You pay the price and uh, I will still eat it because I still, I still love it. Well guys, that's gonna be it for the videos here from Kuala Lumpur on this channel. I know I didn't post too many. I posted more on the other channel, but there's plenty more adventures to come in the future and in different countries here in Asia. So yeah, that's it here from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. I will definitely be back soon to Malaysia to visit, but thank you guys for watching and that's it. I'll see you guys soon. Later.